Hello and welcome to my new video of the Samsung Galaxy S3. In this video I'll show you a Windows Phone 7 theme uh, for uh, Android devices. Uh, I will first show you the main interface of the Galaxy S3 standard. So uh, this is the lock screen. And this is the widget screen. And these are the apps. So yeah, it's uh, basically an uh, Android uh, user interface. So um, I will just show you Windows Phone 7. It's a theme, but it almost looks like it runs Windows 7, you know. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. It contains uh, also the apps, uh, not everything, but uh, contacts and the dialer. Um, yeah, I will show you it in a minute. I first have to launch Launcher 7. That's the Windows 7 launcher. And here we are. Wow, that looks that looks cool, isn't it? I mean, it works really smooth. These are the tiles, you can just customize it. Um, yeah, if you tap this one, you can go to your settings of your device, the standard settings. You can also choose for the Launcher 7 settings. That will bring you here. Uh, this is just an, uh, an advertisement because it's this is a free version. Uh, yeah, here you got all the settings for the Launcher 7 theme. So, um, well, I just show you the apps. Um, you can move those tiles around. So just put it over there. And these are live uh, tiles, like Flipboard and Facebook. And I'll start with uh, the phone app. Well, this is the phone app. Uh, here you got your call history, and this is the dialer. Back button works the same, and I don't know what it is, but uh, it's really nice. So let's move up to the messages. Well, these are uh, conversations, messaging it says, and just tap plus button and here you can type a message to uh, whoever you want. So the next app is the contacts app. Uh, you see live uh, pictures of your contacts here. Just tap that. Alright, so this is the start screen and here you got uh, yeah, the alphabet and you just tap tap one and there you got all your contacts. Yeah, just tap one and you can send them a message or something. So how do you just add an app in this uh, tile menu? Well, you just hold an app, it says pin to home screen, remove from this list and uninstall, pin to the home screen and here you can change the width and height of the tile and you can also ch change the icon these are pre-made icons for Outlook, phone, mail and everything like that but we just use the standard application icon and the 
clock it's added over here and if we tap it it goes to the clock there's also an app for the lock screen and that just looks like this and yeah it's just slide to unlock and if you slide down the sound turns off or on and you can change the background so if you like green for the color of the theme it's alright you can all also change this color so add notifications uh, I will show you that in a moment so this is a notification and if you swipe it to the right then it will uh, delete this single notification if you swipe to the left it will delete all notifications of that single app if you understand this and if you tap it uh, well no, it's now gone but if you tap it then it will go to that app and open it next up is the music app this is uh, an exclusive app you can download it in my uh, description uh, it's called uber music and here you got all your music just like you would have in a Windows Phone. It's a direct copy. I mean, just looks amazing, you know. So let's play a song. See what it looks like. It also downloads the background, you know, uh, from the artist or something. Just swipe for next. Or just tap that button. Right, so back button to the home screen. Music still playing. Right, so next is a calculator. This doesn't seem very different from uh, standard calculators, but it's with those, uh, yeah, you know, just those simple squares of windows and next will be uh, the gmail this app you see this is also uh, the windows uh, theme just tap plus button new subject your message to Well, there's one more thing I uh, gotta show you guys, and that's the status bar. It just looks like Windows 7, because when you tap it, all the icons will appear, and if you wait a few seconds, they will disappear. So, that's really nice. And, uh, well, in my next video, I will show you how to get this, all, all this stuff, you know. Uh, it's really cool, you can just change it at any time because when you tap the home button it will ask you to complete the action with launcher 7 or touch with start and launcher 7 it will take you to the windows 7 but if you tap touch with it will just open up your uh, your standard uh, standard layout standard uh, phone features so how it should look like And well, that was it. Uh, if you tap the home button again, it just says 7. And there you go. This is the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed. And in my next video, I will show you how to get all this stuff. Uh, it's really cool. It just looks like Windows 7. And you should try it out. Bye.